really mooted by uh, Brundtland in, 19, in the 1987. Uh, basically, her concept was that, you see, resources are not unlimited. Uh, that one has to manage those resources in a manner that whilst you meet your needs, you also are ensuring there are, there are enough resources for future generations. And without getting very technical about it, it is ensuring that people sort of, you know, don't exhaust resources so that future generations don't have those resources to live by. And Increasingly, we are beginning to now see, in the last probably 10 years, uh, a level of consumption which is putting pressure on the whole concept of sustainability. So now, if we talk about uh, the emerging sustainability global agenda, what was the reason for the uh, sustainability global agenda to be brought about? What is it? Excellent question, uh, Dipmal. I think the, the concept of the global agenda has been drawn out because of a couple of reasons. Let's start with social sustainability. Today we have a global population of about 6.7 billion people. Now we know that more than half of that population is living on under $2 a day. Now your first issue in terms of sustainability stems from the issue of poverty. And if, if half the world is earning less than $2 a day, you obviously know that they cannot, they're surviving, they're not living life. So that creates a huge tension in terms of social sustainability. And when you start hearing of migration uh, from the lesser developed, developing nations into developed nations, and I call them, uh, you know, con consumers looking for a better life because they are absolutely in poverty in, in the places they live. Secondly, second issue that has been really brought up out in the last couple of years is the issue of environmental sustainability. Now, today everybody is more sensitive to environment than it was in the past, but now we have seen the uh, International Panel for Climate Change, Al Gore's uh, Inconvenient Truth, uh, came about and even very recently Tom Friedman came up with a book which was uh, about the world is crowded, flat and uh, getting increasingly hot, uh, where the issue of environmental sustainability is now getting positioned in the world. So on one side you have climate change, uh, increasing global tem temperatures due to the whole carbon emissions issue, you have poverty on another side. So these two issues are the factor that has really ri risen to the top and brought about the concept of sustainability as now a global agenda item, not just for world political leaders to address, but for the business leaders of the world to address and also every single human being to address. Because unless all three of these three uh, parties converge and understand the crisis that is looming, we will never have a solution because one can un undo the good another does. For a long time, people have thought that all you really need is great political leadership to achieve some level of sustainability. And that, that was probably the original way even the United Nations looked at things like this. But now, with business beginning to play a much bigger role in terms of the world economy, I mean, just to give you some facts, if one today looks at the top 100 economic entities of the world, 50 years ago, they'd be almost, almost all 100 would be countries because country GDPs were so much bigger than anything else. But do you know that since 2004, that almost 50 of those slots go to companies? And as at today, in 2009-10, you're talking of 60 of those top 100 slots going to companies. So Walmart is the seventh largest global economic entity after probably the US and the Chinas and the Japans. Suddenly you have Walmart. And in that top 100 slot, now there are 65 odd companies who take the positions, which mean if you are going to have an implementation of a sustainability agenda, you better have the business community on your side because they now, because of their transnational, multinational nature, have what I call a much bigger carbon footprint. 
than even countries have. So they, they are a big, actually a good stakeholder that we have to get uh, them involved in the whole process. Absolutely. They are a huge stakeholder. They can change the way things happen. And I think what I'm, what I'm really excited to see is in the last five to ten years, we are seeing global champions who are taking leadership in business. So actually, if you look at this global agenda, how yeah. can uh, businesses and business strategy involve and align themselves with this business strategy? I mean the global agenda, so to say. Okay. The, the first alignment must come when senior leadership in a company, and I would say the same is true of a country as well. The top leaders of these countries and, and businesses must, I think, have two mindsets. The first mindset is what I would call a global mindset. A global mindset is one that immediately positions the global issues not as simply low, uh, issues that are out there, but issues that you have to engage with. And increasingly, because the world's becoming a smaller place, connected, uh, world leaders and country leaders cannot stand back and say, okay, there is a volcanic eruption in Iceland, so, so what? Hey, when there's a volcanic eruption in Iceland, like uh, by, by Senator Helena's that has had just happened, you can see over 60,000 flights have already been cancelled. The whole of Europe is at a standstill. And today, what the environmental issues that happen across the border, across in different parts of the world, have a direct impact on your, on your nation. So firstly, every environmental issue that's happening out there has a direct impact or indirect impact and will impact your decisions. Similarly, you can see that uh, these leaders must then also have what I call a sustainability mindset. So for business to really engage with the sustainability agenda, they must have leaders who understand the sustainability agenda. And understanding the sustainability agenda, having understood the global agenda, is to be able to say that increasingly what is required is a mindset which is triple bottom line. And I, I talked about it a little earlier, but let me try and articulate it in a manner that makes it relevant to a leader. So when I'm doing business, when a leader does business in a, in a company and an organization, yes, their first priority has to be to have what I would call a solid economic sustainability strategy. And that strategy must be driven in terms of creating shareholder value, ensuring that there's a stream of innovation, because innovation is the only survival mechanism for any business today, and have operational excellence. Now, that is, I would say, a mindset which is single bottom line. But the moment you begin now to bring in the environmental issues to that, and you say, I can drive innovation, but how about driving innovation in terms of green innovation? How, how do I bring about looking at innovation through the, eyes, through the prism of uh, the whole environmental sustainability issue? Suddenly, the world begins to see huge new opportunities. Then, last but not least, a sustainability leader or a, a sustainability mindset leader will also realize that people matter and understand that every company has employees, every company operates in a community, and every company operates in a society. Now, s most companies start doing stuff uh, in communities sometimes, doing things in society, Sometimes forgetting that the base people who really keep that company going is their employees. And social sustainability starts when you are addressing the issues of your employees, ensuring that they have the human rights and the labor component strongly entrenched and embedded in that organization. Then it can start outreaching and doing stuff in the communities they operate because finally, if every company looks at its employees and looks after the community in which it operates. And if half a million companies did that, I think the world would not have too many issues. <laughs> so we are talking about three aspects, three the economic, social and environmental sustainability. sustainability. We'll continue after a short break. Stay Excellent. with us.